this piece of paper right here is four times the size of the paper that you're drawing on right now, okay? So I'm gonna cut my paper. I'm gonna cut the paper in two. So I have two different papers, got it? Okay, so look, you don't need to do this. This is just for me, okay? So this is, paper, this is number one, this is drawing number one, and this is drawing number two. So what you wanna do, you're going to draw your whole image on one sheet of paper, got it? Thumbs up, you got it? Okay, great. You're gonna use the whole paper to draw. All right, here we go. So you see for this one, for this example right here, I, I drew a boy and he has short hair. Now, if you're a girl and you have long hair, or if you're a boy and you have longer hair, you can have your hair flying in the wind, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, again, you can unmute yourself if you have any questions. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna draw it on this side right here. I'm gonna get it a little closer here so then that way you can see better. All right, okay. So what we're gonna do, this is our image. We're gonna start off with our face first, okay? So our face, we're gonna do a round circular face, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a U. So right in the center on the top, I'm gonna make a U shape like this, okay? Do you see that? Okay, is that clear for you guys? All right, so you're gonna make a U shape, okay? Once you have your U shape, you'll leave it there. We'll add the hair in a moment, okay? Next, what we're going to do, do you see how in this picture, um, you're basically swinging. You're gonna create either a shirt and shorts. You can create a dress. You can create a skirt. I'm gonna show you, so this one's my sample. I'm gonna show you another sample. Hold on one second, let me pull this up. Okay, so. Do you see this sample right here? Okay, do you see how this one has a dress or a skirt and the, dress and the hair flowing? Okay, so we're going to do a shirt. So you can create a shirt or you can create a dress, but it's the same type of way. You're gonna do a neck, so you're gonna do two little lines that go like this for your neck, right underneath your head, okay? Then, once you have your two lines for your neck, you're going to curve it like this for your shirt. Another kind of U, a U shape for your shirt. Then what you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to make almost kind of like a, a square, but it's going to angle, okay? So you're gonna give yourself some space here. Do you see where your line is right here? We're going to do almost like a square, but it's going to angle like this, okay? Now that's a shirt. Okay, if you're gonna do a, if you're gonna add a dress, we're gonna add that uh, in a moment and shorts, okay? So that's your top. Now if we're gonna do shorts, we're gonna add another two lines here like this. And we're going to do a line here and like that, like a triangle right there and then open that up like this, okay? Just like that. What are you gonna do if you're gonna do a dress? So if you're gonna do a dress, instead of, making, instead of making this cut right here, I'm gonna show you, hold on. I'm gonna draw it on this side. So if you're making a dress, you're going to still make that line there because you wanna see where you're bending, right? And then you're going to do your dress like this, okay? Mm -hmm. like that. Does that make sense, Lila? Yeah. Okay, cool. Does anybody have any other questions? Okay, next. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna put up our arms. Now you see, I have my arms going really way up like this. Now if you wanted to put your arm a little lower, you could, it's up to you. But I'm gonna put the sleeve of my shirt up like this. So I'm gonna do like a square, and then I'm gonna do another square right here, okay? So it's like a square that goes right there behind my head. So then that way I can swing on my swing. How many of you guys have swung on a swing before? Okay, cool. So what, let's say, uh, what type of swing or has there been like a, every swing is different, right? Some of them have rope, right? Some of them have chains. Some of them are very diff different colors. Okay, so what you're gonna do right now, we're going to extend its hand, your hands. 
your arms. So we're going to extend your arms like this, like this, and you're going to leave it some space. You're going to extend your hand here, your arm, and leave it some space on the edge, okay? Because we need to do our fingers. Our fingers are going to do this. Look, when you hold rope, like pretend this is my rope, right? And I'm going to hold my rope like this with my fingers like this. So you only see your finger, your knuckles like that, okay? So once you have your hands and your arms like that, you're going to do your fingers. So your fingers are going to look like this. Look. So they basically look like little ovals. So they're going to, so it gets a little closer here. Watch. We're going to do ovals. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Because you're holding the, the, the bar, the rope. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. If it doesn't fit, like let's say you put your arm a little too far. If it doesn't fit, it's okay. Your one finger is going to come out. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. We're good with that. Does anybody need any more time? You good? Okay, great. So next, when we're here, we're going to start doing our, our feet and our legs. So we're going to take out our legs. They're going to be out this way. And then we're going to do our shoe that basically looks like this. Okay, so an over for the shoe. Okay, just like that. You have like rectangle legs <laughs> and then an oval for your shoe. Okay, now once you have your oval for your shoes, you can design your shoes however you like. Okay, so whatever type of shoes that you wear, if you have sandals, you can put on sandals instead. Uh, but then you have to write, you have to draw toes. But when you swing, when you swing, remember, what do you see when you swing? You swing this way and you usually see the back of your foot, right? You see the back of your foot. Sometimes if you swing this way, you'll see your foot going this way, right? So with this, this foot right here, I could design it and I could just add like some lines here. My shoelace is there. It's up to you. Like just design it however you like. If you want to add socks, in it and if you guys wear crazy socks like I do like I love socks with designs on them you can go ahead and draw a line right here and add some fun like designs on your socks just like that okay all right okay so once you have this portion right here we're gonna start adding the swing and details with the face and the hair okay so now you see right here where your shorts are or where if you have, if you drew a dress like this one, you're going to, or a skirt, what you're going to do, what you're gonna do here, hold on, let me just add this. Okay, what you're gonna do, you're gonna create the bar, okay? So the bar goes underneath you because you're sitting on it, okay? So it goes from one end to the other. So you're gonna go from underneath here where your shorts are, you're just gonna make an, a line. It doesn't have to be straight, because remember the swings when you sit on them, they curve, right? Okay, and it'll just go up to there, just like that, because you need to leave enough space for your rope. So with our rope, once you do that line right there, and don't forget, like if you're doing shorts, don't forget the line underneath that gap right there, okay? All right, next. When you add the rope, you're gonna add the rope going this way. So depending on how you, where you drew your hands, you see my rope is going up this way and it's gonna curve down right here. And I'm gonna extend my bar out because I want my rope to kind of catch it like that, like that, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna grab onto my rope so my rope is clenched with my fingers like that, okay? And then I'm gonna, bring my rope down here and then attach it right there. Okay. Now with your rope for the swing, you can either make it a chain linked. So for example, I'm going to sketch this out real quick right here. Okay. So if I do a chain link, chain linked, what I'm going to do, I can just do circles here and do links like that. Or you could do like rope where you just do these curves like that on your 
rope. So it looks like a rope, a rope swing, just like that, okay? Okay, how's everybody doing? Okay, am I going too fast? Let me know, unmute yourself and let me know. Wait, Miss Elizabeth, or wait, Elizabeth. I'm not done yet. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, so if you have, if you have, uh, let's see. Okay, so now, once you have your swing, once you have your body, we're gonna go in and do detail for the face and the hair. Now, depending on what type of hair you have, right? If you have short hair like this, or if you have a long hair like me or shorter hair, you're going to swing, you're going to uh, create hair based on that. So I'm gonna do two, okay? Here we go. So for short hair, you're going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do long hair on this one because I did short hair on this one, okay? But if you do short hair, um, you're gonna do it like this. Let's do the face first and then we'll get to the hair. So with your face, we're just gonna, you can do, you can do it simple like this, where it's like you're basically doing kind of like a rainbow, like a, a mountain upside down you for the eyes because you have your eyes closed and you're so happy. Your nose goes like this on the side and then you have your mouth that's wide open because you're so happy to be on the swing. If you wanna add teeth, you can add your teeth like this. You can just put some lines like that to add your teeth, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. This one's gonna be just like that. And you don't have to add teeth if you don't want to, okay? Next, after you do your eyes and after you do the nose, you're gonna have to add your ears, okay? So your ear, you're just gonna do like a, a backwards a C on this side and a back and a, and a correct C on this side. So you, it's like that, just like that. So you have your ears, okay? Now, if you wear earrings, you can add your earrings. So that'll be later. You can add detail to whatever you add, okay? Now for hair, we're gonna go, I'm gonna do long hair on this one, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna do short hair on the sample one, okay? So if you have long hair or medium sized hair, whatever type of hair, even if you have short hair, if you have any type of bangs, you're gonna just do some lines that go like this, just curve, that go like that, just at the bottom right here. This is gonna become long hair in a second, okay? So you're just gonna kinda curve, if you have bangs, you can also put your bangs so like for example if you have bangs right here like when my hair is when my hair is down i have straight bangs so if i have bangs i would just do like this it looks kind of like a hat but then i'm gonna do the rest of my hair okay so that's the top now i'm gonna go bigger here you see with my hair and then it's gonna fly in the wind so i'm gonna curve it you see how my hair is coming down like that I'm gonna curve it, and then I'm gonna curve this side right here. I'm gonna put my hair down, it's gonna curve, so it's flying in the wind like that, okay? Do you guys see that okay? Yeah, okay. Now, if you have shorter hair, like I said, if you have shorter hair, if you have shorter hair, you can go ahead and just do this, just like that shorter hair and then you could just depending on what type of hair you have and then just do it like that okay but if you have longer hair or even if you have a ponytail you can also add a ponytail here if you have braids i can show you how to do that too okay so you have that part right there now once you have this basic this is basically your image now we're going to start adding detail now for this one the one that i did uh, as a sample, do you see I have grass here, I have flowers. You can add whatever you want. If you have a dog or if you have a cat or a pet, you can add a pet right here, like waiting for you as you swing. And we're gonna add clouds and we're gonna add a sun, okay? So right here in the background, you can do a little sun in the corner. Depending on how much space you have, you can add a sun. So it's like a little half circle, okay? Then you can add some clouds. I'm gonna add on the bottom here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of grass, just like a grass line. And then I'm gonna add clouds in the background so you can see it from the top and the bottom. I'm just gonna add clouds. Do you see how the cloud, I'm just gonna go bump, one bump here, 
one bump there, bump here. It's like basically like you're doing the letter C backwards and forwards, and you're just connecting them together, okay? I'm gonna add some clouds in the background here. I'm gonna add little clouds. I'm gonna add big clouds behind my rope, just like that, okay? I'm gonna add a few more little clouds here, maybe a cloud here. And then you need to also start thinking about Okay, what do I want my shirt to say? What type of design do I like? Do I have a favorite character that I wanna put on my shirt? Do I wanna put on an art camp shirt? Do I love, like my favorite superhero is Wonder Woman, so I'd probably draw the Wonder Woman logo on there, or maybe I like Pokemon, or maybe I like, I don't know, what are your favorite things? What are you thinking? Who wants to say, who wants to share? Go ahead. My favorite cartoon is Teen Titans Go. Ooh, Teen Titans Go. I love that show. Maybe leopard print. Oh, a leopard print. You could totally do that. Or you could do even a rainbow with clouds on your, on your shirt. Or you can do an affirmation. What else? Anybody else? Go ahead and unmute yourself. What else? Go ahead. The Art Camp logo. Oh, the Art Camp logo. You could do that. So you can think of any type of design that you want to add in, OK? for your shirt. So let's say, what should I add on, on this one shirt? Somebody tell me and I'll draw it. Go ahead, Emily, unmute yourself. Dance is my life, that's what Miss I Miss Elizabeth. Oh, dance is my life, okay, yes. Miss Elizabeth, Go ahead. you start coloring? Is yes, so we're not done yet, oh, almost done. So look, so once you, once you uh, finish that, you can add some flowers here, you can add a dog or whatever, yes. But once you're done, you can go ahead and start coloring. I'm gonna start coloring too. So uh, let's see, I think Emily, em Emily, you said dance is my life? Okay, so I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna write dance is my life, okay? And now I'm gonna start coloring. So you, if you have paints, if you have any, whatever you have to color with, you can go ahead and start coloring everything in. Okay, you can do that. I'm gonna start coloring this in. Do, does anybody need any help drawing anything specific for your shirt and adding other things in? Any other detail? I can draw anything, so let me know. If you need guidance, shorts, if you wanna add detail on your shorts, you can add side pockets on there as well. Okay. All right, so let's see. What did you guys choose for your shirts? Can anybody share? What did you choose as your saying or as your picture that you drew on your shirt wanting to draw? Go ahead, unmute yourself and you can talk. Go ahead, Adriana. I drew on my shirt is a flower. Oh, I love that. Great. Who else? Who else wants to share? Go ahead. Oliver, go ahead and meet yourself and share. Oh, lovely. Love it. Awesome. Great. So I'm going to start coloring this in. So, you know, I have, I have brown black hair. So I'm going to, I'm going to pretend this is me. So I'm going to start coloring. Uh, good technique. Let me, let me tell you. So if you're using crayon, what you can do, if you press really hard, you get a nice, really dark line. For example, like if I press really hard on the outer side of the hair and then really do light coloring in the inside, I get a different type of texture, so a different type of look. So do you see? It looks a little different. I'm looks... doing watercolors. Oh, great. That's what I did. I did watercolors with this one. So whatever type of medium that you have, use it. You can do mixed medium where it's like you're doing watercolor and marker and crayon as well. So just have fun with it, okay? Just color this in, take your time. And then once you're finished with this one, we're gonna move on. Even if you don't finish, we'll move on to the next one and you can do two pieces. If you don't want to do two, you don't have to. You can just focus on this one and really add the detail that you want. But the next one that we'll be doing is a really cool parrot or bird. Okay. So go ahead and just, you can color this in. And my paper is really big. So <laughs> it's going to take me a little minute to 
color all this in. But press really hard. You can press really hard and get a really dark, rich color for your piece. Okay. Let's see. What uh, what color shirt should I have? Probably jeans. Let's see. Does anybody want to? Uh, can I see? Can anybody share what they have so far? I'd love to see your work. You can go ahead and unmute yourself and show me. Oh, so good. Great job, guys. Anybody else want to share? Go ahead. Unmute yourself, talk, and then you can share with everybody. Emmy, Emily. I'm doing watercolor resistant for a lot of it. Oh, awesome. So if you guys uh, don't know what watercolor resistant is, I teach that a lot in my, my class. It's where you put crayon and then the watercolor can't resist it. So it kind of just doesn't listen to it. And exactly. It. So you can do that type of method as well. Yeah, great. All right. So just go ahead and keep on coloring in. Add any other detail that you want. Remember, get creative. Even like, for example, for like the swing, the bottom of the swing, you can add a pattern, you can add a design. Like for example, if I wanna do polka dots on my, on, my, on, my, uh, on my swing here on the bottom, I could do polka dots. I'm gonna add polka dots just to make it a little different. Just like that. And then I'm gonna finish coloring this in and let's see what the finished product looks like. Right? Let's see. Here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. So let's see. What kind of shirt? I think I'll probably do some striped socks here. Just like that. Looks good. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know. Hey, Ashley, Ashley joined us. <laughs> Can I? Hi. Hi. Just taking roll, um, I think I just wanna, um, just really quickly, Oliver, what's your last name, buddy? Berkowitz, got it, okay. So he, he was in Skylar's class, but I'm moving him into your class. They're doing the same project, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. okay sent me the wrong information so sorry about that Can no, we problem. no problem no problem no problem here stay in group uh one okay thank you yeah yeah he'll just stay in this one they're doing the same exact thing it doesn't yeah. matter i just wanted to make sure he was somewhere got it thank you so much no problem same with um do we have zoe jimenez in here yes zoe, uh, zoe jimenez yeah no and what about um, Sophie there. Johnson? Did she come in here on accident? Sophie. No. Okay, no worries. I'm gonna quietly take roll in the corner, ignore me. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, so we're adding some more color here. Let's see, I'm gonna do the background. Let's see, flowers. What did you guys add to your background or to, your, to any, any additional stuff? Did you guys add anything else? I added a kitty cat and some grass. Oh, can I see? Oh, I love it. I, so. added, I added grass and, and a symbol on my t-shirt. Oh, great. Can you show me? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay. All right. Okay, so keep on coloring. We're gonna move on. Let's see, what time is it? 10 o'clock. We have uh, 30 minutes to draw another one. Okay, so I'm gonna continue coloring part of this right now, and then we're gonna move on to the next one. You can go ahead, if you want to continue coloring this one in, you can, but what you can do, you can also just pause on the coloring and we can move on to the next one. And then after we're done with the class, you can just continue coloring both. So you have something to do also for the rest of the, the rest of the day, okay? But if you don't want to, if you just wanna focus on the one, you can, okay? So in about two minutes, I'm gonna to transition to the next project but I'm gonna just try to color this more so then that way you can really see the color on it all. Okay, so I'm gonna add 
some color here, color here. Great. Okay. Can anybody tell me what is their favorite medium to use when, you, uh, when you're doing art? What is your favorite medium? You can go ahead and unmute yourself and let me know. Go ahead. Oil pastels. Oil pastels. Why, Chloe? Why do you like oil pastels so much? Then, like, you can just um, spread it with your fingers instead of having to use the whole thing. Absolutely. That's why I love oil pastels, too. Okay. Who else? I, love, I like painting. Painting with what? What type of medium? Acrylics, uh, tempera, watercolor? Tempera. tempera. I like painting too. Oh, awesome. Great. Well, we'll be doing some of that too. I like to use Crayola watercolors. Yeah, same here. I have a set as well. Awesome. Anybody else? What's your favorite medium to use? Oh, colored pencils. I love those Faber Castells. Great. Love it. I have Prismacolor too. Go ahead. Eliana? Markers. Markers, love it. Emily? Acrylic paint. Acrylic paint, my favorite too. Ooh, those, that watercolor palette is amazing. Islin? <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else want to share? I'll share. Okay. I like using, um, crayons and then watercolors over it so it pops out oh yeah they're doing uh watercolor resist uh there's yeah. two that are doing watercolor resist right now ashley and i just took roll and all the kids are here yeah. Ooh, it worked virtual camp we're doing it yes we are we are can any of can any of you guys show ashley like some of your work <gasps> yeah hold it up hold it up oh <laughs> These are so cute. Right? They're just so talented. All of them are so talented. So yes, you guys. These are awesome. Yeah. They okay. look like you. They look like little happy children. All right, <laughs> All right guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pause on this. I'll continue coloring, but I'm going to draw the next, uh, the next one right now, okay? So here we go. I am going to just do my rest of my coloring here real quick. And then I'm going to do the parrot next. All right. Get your other sheet of paper. If you're going to do the parrot with me, get the other sheet of paper that you have. Get a, your pencil, eraser, and we're going to move on. But, but, but I'm not done coloring. Okay. If you're not done coloring, you can wait on it. And you can color after, okay? Okay. If you want to just continue uh, this pro this project that we have right now, just go ahead and finish it then. Don't worry. But my goal is to try to make as much art as possible. So I'm going to challenge you guys a little bit, and we're going to try to do two, okay? Remember, you have, once we're done with this class, we have time all throughout the class to uh, be able to do this afterwards, okay? Okay? All right. Wait, so Elizabeth, so yeah. you're telling me that they have a choice. They can either completely color and finish one project or they can draw two projects and color them later? Yes, absolutely. <gasps> the I cool. love a lot of art, so we're going to move on. I'm going to do another one. You don't have to do this one if you don't want to. It's up to you. You have a choice at Art Camp, okay? You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do, okay? All right, so now that we have us over here swinging on the left, we're gonna do our parrot with a lot of different designs, okay? All right, so grab your pencil, grab your paper, and here we go, all right? Okay, our parrot. So our parrot, this one, I decided to give it a little bit of a mohawk. You can, uh, I'm gonna show you different, different styles. Hold on a second, let's see. Next time I'll share my screen. Can I put a googly eye on it for the eye? Of course, yes. If you have like other cool stuff at your house, yes, three dimensional, yes. Add add whatever you want. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you the. Do you see these parrots right here? Do you guys see them clearly? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So do you see the different styles? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do a different style. So I have this one. We're gonna do, I'm gonna change it up and do a, a different kind of one, okay? So here we go. So number two right over here. 
Let me move my paper a little, my desk, so it's easier. Okay, great. So I am going to start with its body. So this is your whole sheet of paper. We're gonna take up most of the paper as we draw this, okay? All right, here we go. So what we're gonna do first, we are going to do a shape like this. Okay, hold on. Just like that. Almost, it kind of looks like a C, but it's gonna be big, like that, okay? Just like that. Okay? Just like a big, almost like a big C, but it's gonna kind of curve, okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and take this down, down like this, just like that, okay? And you see this little corner that I left open? We're going to get this corner and this corner and attach it like that. Because that's part of the wing. You'll see what we do, okay? Okay, does everybody get that? Yeah? Good? Okay, great. Next, what we're gonna do, we're going to add the beak and then we're gonna add the details in a moment, okay? So the beak is gonna go like this. It's a curve that goes down like that. It's its beak. Okay, then we're gonna go down this way like this, just like that, okay? We're gonna put another line like this because it has, its beak opens up, it's a mouth, right? That's the way it eats, okay? Then we're going to add a design here. That's where its eye is gonna go. You're gonna add the eye right there. Then from here, you see this line right here is empty, so we need its feathers. So, and it's wings. So we're gonna create a line that goes from the top and connects to the bottom like that. Do you see it's wing now? Okay. Next, we need its tail. So its tail has to come down. We have a, a, the wing and then its tail that comes on the bottom. So right here, we're gonna curve this down. We're gonna make its tail pretty long, okay? Do any of you guys have birds? Do you guys own a bird as a pet, anybody? Yeah. My grandpa has bird feeders that has birds like toucans always coming in his backyard. Oh, awesome. Okay, so look. So the tail goes long like this. And then we're going to split the tail so we have feathers. Like one, two, three. You can even add another one if you want to. You can add four if you want to like that. Okay, just like that. Okay. Now, once you have the bird right there, we need its little feet. And it has to be, it has to be sitting or standing on something, right? So we're gonna create a branch. We're gonna create a branch that we can have it sitting on. So it, the branch is gonna stick out. Let's see, we're gonna do its, its feet that are gonna come out this way. Let's pause. One, two, three, it's claws like that. And then one, two, three, it's claws like this. And then it's gonna, it's gonna sit on a branch like this underneath. And then you can extend the branch out in the back right there like that. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah? Okay, great. Okay, so we'll go back to designing the branch in a moment. So now for the bird, it looks a little, it looks a little bare on the top of the head, don't you think? It looks a little bald, so. I think it needs a little bit of hair. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, so you can do like a type of mohawk type of situation. You could just do straight, like just little lines that stick up. Um, but I think I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna do like a fun, like mohawk type of situation right here. So look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna curve it like this and then I'm gonna curve like this, look. Okay, just like that. But then I'm gonna add lines in the sun and inside. So it's gonna go look like this just like that, okay? And then I can add another line like that, maybe another little line right here, and it's gonna really curve like that. But you don't have to do your mohawk or your hair like that, it could be smaller. Like you see this one, I use triangles, kind of like a lizard, the top, okay? So you can do small ones like that, or you can do big ones like this, or you can do short ones. It's up to you, okay? All right. Now, when you have your bird, now you're going to decide, okay, uh, parrots are usually very colorful, right? They have different colors. So I'm in, here, instead of having it be one color, I'm going to cut little patterns out. So do you see how I'm just 
I'm just making little sections here, okay? Here I'm gonna probably do the same. Maybe I'll add some lines here for so I know it's the wing. You don't have to, but you can add that if you want to because you're gonna design it with different things. Um, let's say I wanna do dots on, maybe it's gonna have like dots on this side. Now you're going to design your bird however you like. Okay, maybe I'll do maybe just a few lines there and then I'll design the rest. Now, once we have our bird, we can add a detail to the branch just like this, okay? Now, we're going, it's gonna be in the, in like a forest in a tropical setting. So we're gonna add different uh, leaves, different types of leaves. So I'm gonna start here at the bottom. So I'm gonna make a line that goes here and then I'm just gonna curve leaves. There are different types of leaves, okay? So this one looks like a loop. I'm just gonna add a leaf right there. That's a different type of leaf, right? And then there's other kind of leaves that look like this. So if I, once you have those leaves or you can do a leaf that goes like this, look, it curves up like that. You see that? It curves up like this and then you put a line right there, just like this. You can do some detail. You can do another leaf that sticks out like this, okay? Just like that with the point up, just like that. You can add another leaf behind here. Just fill up your space. You wanna make sure that you don't have an empty space or too much white in the background. You wanna fill it up, okay? You can also add uh, dots and, but we're now we're gonna just add like leaves. We can add um, little uh, like circles here. Like sometimes you have like hanging, little flowers that are round, or it looks kind of like grapes. We're gonna just add that here. You can add a little sun in the background if you want, but right now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fill it up with different types of leaves in different areas. I'm gonna do these type of leaves here, just like that, okay? And then you just continue adding whatever you want uh, to this. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted to add a friend. Go ahead. If you have a question, raise, go ahead and just unmute yourself and ask me the question. Go ahead, Liana. Can we also add trees? Yes, you can add whatever comes to your imagination, okay? Like, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, you see this little corner right here? I'm gonna add a little baby bird here because I wanted to have a little friend, okay? <laughs> so, Hey, Chloe, that looks great. Great job, Chloe. Okay, so if I wanted to add a little tiny, tiny bird, I could, but that's, you know, it's up to if you want to. So if I wanna add another little tiny bird, maybe it's gonna like fly instead of sitting on a, on a branch. I'm just gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna change the pattern. So look, if I do a little baby bird, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do this right here. The beak is gonna go right there. Little eye that goes here, just like that. It's a little tail. It's a little tiny, tiny bird. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna just do a little pattern. It's a little, just like that. And then I could color him in. Now his wing could probably go out a little bit because he's just flying for perspective. Okay, so. You can just add that. You can add whatever you like to it. Now these birds are very, are very colorful. So what I'm gonna do, now I can start coloring uh, different areas in. So, and I can do different textures. So for example, I'm gonna use, in the other one I used crayon because it helped me uh, just color the paper a little faster. But with this one, I'm gonna use my Crayola Bold crayon uh, markers because I really want this parrot to be really bright and, uh, and just fun looking, right? So like the beak, you can either, you know, you can color whatever color you want. You can color orange, you can color red, whatever, whatever colors that come up to you, okay? Now, if you, have, if you have any questions, if you want me to draw anything specifically for you, let me know and I can draw anything on the side. How are you guys doing with this? Good? Good, okay, great, okay. Can some of you guys show me what you guys have so far? You can unmute yourself and you can show or you can just pick it up. 
Lovely guys. Great job. Look at you guys, all such amazing artists. Oh, Jane, <laughs> I love it. Great job, guys. Great job, Savannah. Sydney, how are you doing over there? Great job, Sydney. Oh, I love it. Good job, Sydney. You guys are doing so good. Okay. And even when the class is over, remember, you have time after class is over to go ahead and do this. Take your time. If you're doing another class with us at 11, you know, you have time after that class to do this. Um, just take your time. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna continue adding colors here. See for the leaves, like for example, if I wanna color leaves, what I could do, I could outline them in a dark marker, you see? And then I could color it in with a crayon and get it, give it a different type of look. Because with the marker, then it pops. Do you see the difference? It's a little, it's a little different. I'm gonna do like a mixed media here and just continue adding that on just like that. And just like that. Okay. Just like that. All right. You guys are doing so good. <laughs> How many of you guys, it's your first time actually doing an art camp, uh, art camp class? Like you've never been to art camp before? Raise your hand if you've never done art camp before. Okay. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I know this is totally different than what we usually do, but I'm glad you guys are on. I'm hoping you're having fun. Okay. So just continue coloring in your spaces. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and unmute yourself. Ask me anything. Do any of you guys have any jokes? You can, guys can tell me a joke while you color, <laughs> while you finish. Go ahead and unmute yourself, Emily. Go ahead. Is your fridge running? Is what? <laughs> Is your fridge running? Is my fridge running? Uh, no. <laughs> Lucky, because then you can't catch it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see. Molly and Rachel, go ahead and meet yourself. Why did the whale cross the road? Why did the whale cross the road? Get to the other tide. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Great joke. Anybody else? Anybody else with a joke? Go ahead. Molly and Rachel, go Why ahead. Did um. Why can't Elsa, uh, why can't Elsa hold the balloon? I don't know, does anybody want to answer that? Does anybody have a guess? Any of our friends, does anybody have a guess? Go ahead and unmute yourself and try to guess. Because she'll let it go. Is that right, Molly and Rachel? Yeah, okay. Anybody else have a joke? I was gonna say that. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else, go ahead and unmute yourself. Eliana, go ahead. Why did the cat want to sleep? Anybody want to take a guess? Why did the cat want to sleep? I don't, I don't know why. Because it was meowing, because it was yawning and meowing. Got it. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Who else? Go ahead and meet your go ahead and unmute yourself and go. Go ahead. Kaya, go ahead. Why did the cow not want to leave the dance party? Why? Because it was playing his favorite music. <laughs> That's a good one. Anybody else have a joke? Anybody else? Okay. All right, how are we doing over here? Does anybody have any questions? Let's see. Okay, so we're just gonna continue adding more color. I'm gonna add more color to the Mohawk and just really make it vibrant. 
And you know, anything that you do with art, you know, you can always put it up. If you guys have your own room, your own space, you can put it up in your room. You can put it up on the fridge, show it to, show it to anyone that Mine's you Mine's on the drawing rack. Oh, okay, great. That's what I did when I did these watercolor ones. I put it on a little drying rack so it could dry. What's your, uh, what's your favorite part of art? What do you like about art? Can anybody tell me? Raise your, you can go ahead and just unmute yourself and tell it's me. It's a way to express your feelings. Yes, it's a way to express your feelings. That's right, Kaya. Anybody else? What do you like about art? Else? Madeline, go ahead. Because it can be anything. Yes, it can be anything you want. Anybody else? Go ahead and meet yourself and go ahead, Cleo and Margot. Um, I like art because it's just a way to um, um, let go of all the bad things. Yes, oh, I love that, yes. Who else, who else wants to share why they like art? Who else wants to share, anybody else? Okay. If you wanna share, just unmute yourself. Let's learn each other's name, let's learn, let's, meet our friends okay so i'm adding more color to my environment here more i'm adding some greens maybe this could be grapes i'm gonna add some green some lighter green here i'll probably add some shade so look if i'm if i'm doing what i can do here like with leaves if you want different texture like i showed you here like you could do a dark marker and then do a light crayon in the inside here for this one for these leaves what i'm going to do I'm gonna do a really light green, and then I'm gonna add a darker green on the bottom, kind of like, almost like a shadow. And if I wanted to add like a green on the, look, these are two-tone leaves. I'm gonna add a darker green on the bottom to give it really some, a different type of dimension. Do you see that? You can do that. I'm gonna add some green here to this leaf, to this tail right here. And I'm just gonna continue adding color. Okay. How many of you guys are working, are still working on your swing? Okay. How many of you guys are working on the parrot? Chloe, have you started the parrot one yet? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. So just continue adding anything that you want. You can even add what lives in the rainforest. Like you could add a monkey to the I didn't do a parrot. Oh, you did it? Chloe, you can, you can start it. Do you want me to help you start it? No? You can. <laughs> okay. All right. We have about five more minutes. You can go ahead. Now, once class is over, you guys can hop on to the other Zoom link, which is, uh, which is for snack break. And you can join us for snack breaks. We'll probably be, uh, we're going to be doing challenges for snack break. So some fun, uh, like scavenger hunt type of challenges. If you want to join us for that, you can. If you have an 11 o'clock class, um, you can also take a break and then just join us at 11. Uh, are any of you guys taking 11 o'clock classes today? Classes at 11? Okay, it's okay. All right, so we're gonna continue adding. I'm gonna continue adding color. Let's see. And maybe I'll do, let's see. Maybe I'll do some yellow here. Oh, this is like a highlighter yellow. That's really bright, okay. Uh, yellow here. I'm gonna add some blue. I need to color him. Maybe I don't have to use purple. Purple is fun color. Let's see. Purple here. I'm gonna add some purple there. Purple here. I'm done. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Peace. Go ahead and go ahead and talk and like we can all see it. Oh, lovely. I love it. Great job. You barely see the parrot in the background. Well, this is, this is the thing. So, if you, did you use watercolors or acrylic? Um, I used watercolors. Okay, so this is the picture. So, if you use any other medium, like you did pencil, right? You started off with pencil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, this is what you're going to do. Once it completely dries, right? You're going to take your marker, a block marker, and go over your lines. Okay. So look, if you look at the screen real quick, you see I did watercolor and then uh, you, I did Sharpie, but you can't really see it, right? I mean, you can see it, but you can't. But if I go over it now that it's dry, Raya, look, watch. Raya, watch what I'm doing. You see, if I go over it, 
you see how much brighter you see it? Mm -hmm. You see, so then once you're done, once it completely dries, you can just go over it with black marker or black Sharpie. Just make so sure you these markers? Yeah, you can use those as well. Mm -hmm. Use the black one. I have the same one. So you can go ahead and use that. Look, if I use this one, I'm gonna show you. If you use the black one, Crayola one, and you just outline, look, Raya. Look at what a nice line you get. And it's thicker and it's bold and it's bright. And then that way you can really see it, okay? All right. Anybody else have any questions or anybody else wanna show? Let's see. Great, good job guys. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, Emily, great job. Leo, love it. Cleo and Margo, amazing. Amazing, guys. Eliana, great job, honey. Michelle and Elizabeth, how are you guys doing over there? Can I see your work? Can you show me on the screen? Just put your work up, Michelle and Elizabeth. Okay. Let's see, Declan. Great job, Declan. Awesome. Amazing, guys. So remember, like I said, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, can you show, Cleo, can you, uh, Margo, can you unmute yourself so we can all see? Unmute yourself and talk. Um, this is my parrot drawing. Tell I'm telling you, but I'm going to finish it. I love it. So you added a tree in the background, right? With like the vines and stuff. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Who else wants to share? Unmute yourself and share, guys. And we'll get to know each other. Go ahead and unmute. You don't need to raise your hand, Eliana. Just go ahead and unmute yourself and talk. Go ahead, Eliana. Too quiet. I just wanted to say another joke. Oh, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? What? A dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> That's a good one. Great one, guys. Declan and Kira, go ahead. I want to share my drawing. This is my new pet fish that I recently got. This is this is my cat Gimlet, who's who's looking straight at him. He's like, uh -oh. but I have a. Joke. You hold it up again, Declan, so I can see. Hold it up a little further, so we can see the whole thing. Oh, the Pokemon! Joke. I have a joke too. Awesome. Go ahead. Tell us. Why did the guy throw his clock in the air? Why? He wanted to see time fly. That's funny. <laughs> All right, that's amazing. Great job, Wyatt. Awesome. All right, how are you guys doing? Are we good? Do you guys have any questions? Because we're gonna log off in a second. We're gonna move on to snack time. You can join us for snack time and you can continue coloring your stuff and finishing up your piece during snack time. Uh, do you have any questions before we log off? Yes, Emily. It's not a question, but I didn't do the parrot, so I did. I added more details. Oh, beautiful. Emily, great job. That's my dog, Max. I his love mouth is always dirty, so I did brown his mouth. <laughs> did anybody else add their pets to it? Molly and Rachel, go ahead. Unmute yourself. I didn't add my pet, but I want to tell everyone another joke. Yeah, do why it. Did the, why did the little mouse cross the road? Anybody have a, have a guess? Anybody? Unmute yourself and try to guess. No? Okay, why? <laughs> to get to the little Swiss cheese. <laughs> That's very camp. I, I, I mean love the little cheese, like the little cheese, you know? <laughs> I love it. Great job. All right, guys. Can you guys all hold up your work so I can see so I can see everybody's? Hold it all up. Awesome. It's wet, so I can't. You can't? That's great. Oh, you guys, amazing. 
such wonderful artists. All right. All right, guys. Well, this is the class for today. We did two projects. Tomorrow we're going to do two as well and Friday as well. Um, you can go ahead and log off and join us for our snack break time. All right. Bye, everybody. I'll see you guys during snack time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys during snack. Are we going to make a... Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, Sydney. Bye. Bye. Bye, Brianna. Bye. Thank bye, you. Michael. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Chloe. Bye, Margo. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys during snack. Bye.